Hello friends, my name is Ritu Sachdev. Today here in this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you with clip icons. Bootstrap comes along with the set of icons. These icons are called as clip icons. Like if you have a text home in your web page and if you want to add icon of home next to it, so you can use clip icon. You can also create menu buttons and add clip icons inside it. This clip icons makes your web pages more attractive and it also adds more depth to your web pages. Before we start, let me preview up the things we are going to learn in this tutorial. You can see along with text, I have a relevant icon. With home, I have an icon of home. With photos, I have an icon of photo. With cart, add to cart, I have an icon of cart. So bootstrap comes along with this set of icons. Similarly, we can also create menu buttons with the help of this icon. Like I have created the one. So let's get started. Here I have already opened up Adobe Dreamware CS6 and the document in which I am going to work. I am using Doctype HTML5. Now here I have already linked up this bootstrap.css as CDN. You can also have this CDN from the official website of bootstrap get bootstrap.com. Here I have a div with a class of container, a pre-inbuilt class in bootstrap. Now we will focus on cliff icon or cliff icon. I don't know how you pronounce it exactly. To understand this clearly, let us go to official website first, getbootstrap.com. Now here, in the tab components, the first link you will find is cliff icons. See here, it's mentioned available glyphs. Include 200 glyphs in font format from the glyph icon half link set. Now, you can see here several icons we have. And with these icons, there are two classes are mentioned. See, this is an icon of heart and I have a class like glyph icon, glyph icon dash heart. So these two classes I have to apply. The first one is the glyph icon itself and the second class is relevant to the picture. This is a heart icon. So the class is heart. Similarly, it's a home. So I have glyph icon and glyph icon dash home. The first class is glyph icon itself and the second class is glyph icon dash home as home is the relevant icon here. See here we have a shopping cart. So the image of shopping cart is there and the class is glyph icon, glyph icon dash shopping cart. So it's quite easy to remember the classes are like related to the icon we are using. So you can apply these classes to your elements and have these icons on your web page and apply more depth to your web page. Let's have some practical look. Here let me have H2 tag opening and closing. Now inside this H2, let me have a tag span apply it a class, the classes which we have seen recently, glyph icon. Now the second class I want to apply is glyph icon dash 
home. Let's close this span class. Close this span tag. Have some text home. Now similarly, let me copy it, paste it, change this class to glyphicon dash. Comment. Have the text comment. Again, let me paste it. This time, let me have the class to be picture and the text to be photos. Again, let me paste and have the class to be it should be small c, otherwise, the thing will not work. Small p. Now, let me have the class to be. Shopping dash cart add to cart. Let's save it up. Let's preview now. See, now we have this icons along with our text. Now you can easily notice this text is too tight to the icons. So we can easily have space in between them. Just after this span tag, we can have a space. Let's save up and let's reload this page. See now we have a space between them. So, if you want to add a space between your text and icon, so after this span tag, you can have this space. Now, let's have more fun. We can also create cool buttons with this cliff icons. Let me have a BR tag. So that that will create little line breaks between them. Let me copy all this four H2 tags and these span classes. Copy it and let me paste it. Now instead of H2 tag, we will have a class of button. Okay, let's have a span tag class BTN. As we have to always mention, it's a button, so btn and the next class, I'm going to apply is btn dash. Let's have a primary button this time. If you want to know in detail what these button classes are, you can watch my earlier tutorial. Here it is, creating Jumbotron layouts and buttons. In this tutorial, I have explained each and every classes related to this buttons. So this time we are going to have a primary button which is a blue color button. Now let's close this span tag. Let's save it up. Let's refresh. See here now we have a nice little button along with this glyph icon. Similarly, let's have it for other glyph icons too. 
span class btn this time let's let's have a class to be btn dash warning this warning gives us orange color button now let us also close this span tag let's save it up let's reload see here now i have a button for this comment also for this photos let me have a span tag class success btn dash btn dash success let's close this span tag similarly we can have here copy paste instead of success let me have danger this danger is going to give us red button let me close this span tag let's save it up let's reload see now we have buttons for this photos and add to cart too now it seems like a complete menu bar we can also give link to these items let me show you up also that simply with anchor tag a h r e f let me open my website when i will click on it http ritu sachdev dot com let me close this anchor tag now let's save up and let's reload now when i will click on this home item that will open my web page here it is so this is how you can have fun with this clip icons and add more depth to your web page so this is done friends and if you like this video of mine do thumbs it up and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me do contact me do not forget to subscribe me have a good day bye bye